Hi, I'm Leanne Fortunato Heltzel. I am a multi-dimensional artist creating works of art that channel energy into the pigment and onto the canvas. It is a way to bring the profound into physical form. These paintings emanate energy and shift the frequency of the space that they occupy. From the time we were small children, the first time getting used to holding a brush in our hand or, or a crayon, we were always taught to stay in the lines. And then, as we got a little bit older, society helped us to clarify if we could draw or not, if we were creatively or artistically inclined or not. And so many of us grew into this belief that I am not an artist. Why, I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> well, since when has art been a straight line? We are all inherently creative, creators, and artists. My whole life, I've considered myself an artist, even as a small child, walking out into the woods behind my family's home, sitting amongst the fallen logs and, and leaves and moss under my feet. And I was either sketching or writing poetry. And that grew into a passion going to art school and following suit to becoming an art director and a graphic designer, therefore commercializing my, my talents. And that served me well and has served me well and continues to do so. But about five years ago, I started expanding my work with my clients in a more energetic realm of entering into states of higher consciousness on behalf of my clients and with my clients. And a component of that came through as art. So in these very intensive, um, rather dramatic, energetic sessions with my clients, I heard the call that there needed to be some way to bring this very high energy, high frequency space that we were in, into physical form. And it was a natural outlet for me to utilize painting. So I would paint first on behalf of my clients and then with my clients and then just my clients, actually channeling the energy of that higher space that we were spending our time in. And these paintings would continue to happen off and on over a series of days. And those paintings became portals into that very space that we were inhabiting, that space of higher consciousness and higher understanding of their pure potential, of their highest possibilities for themselves or their businesses. I've moved into a space in my life where I am following my highest calling. I am listening to and honoring that inner voice. And that inner voice not too long ago told me that this next period, this next chapter of my life was all about the paintings. And I didn't know what that meant, but I always commit to just following the energy, being open, see what life shows me and gifts me. 
And so in very short order, I heard just start taking those paintings that I was doing with my clients and going into that space for all of humanity, a way for me to express these higher frequencies of that which we desire to be. And so I started doing what I call meta art or can be called automatic painting. Automatic painting is standing before the canvas with a clear intention and an open channel and an open heart. Stepping into that higher space of consciousness that is outside the mind, outside that critical voice, outside really everything in the world with the intention of being an open channel to that which is to be expressed. So for example, this painting is a commissioned piece that I'm doing on behalf of a client that is wanting to communicate a specific emotion that of stepping into one's fullest self. And so there in front of the canvas, open, I hear, use this yellow, use this gold, use your fingers. And in a very meditative way, my hands, my body, the paint, the canvas, all become one and all act as one spiraling, integrating system of expression. So it's never staying in the lines. It's never using my artistic knowledge of um, never mixing certain colors together or um, a certain style or using a certain brush. There's none of that. It is simply hearing what color wants to be expressed and what texture wants to be created. And oftentimes, there's messages coming through. If I'm painting, say, something dark with a dark color, I'm understanding that that color or the angles or the direction of the paint is flowing in the energy of the struggle that that ultimate final energy of shifting into one's highest purpose layers on top of all of these struggles that we've gone through as, as humans to get to that point. And so every color and every stroke has a a download of information as well. It's like I am hearing the voice of humanity and the voice of our ancestors and of time itself and easily into the future of what it is we are co-creating together. So it becomes so complex and multidimensional that I oftentimes forget what my hands are actually doing on the canvas or the brush. 
the result of the painting is a portal. It's a portal into that space that was channeled. It not only can be sat with and studied and meditated upon, but simply by it hanging in a room or a building, a space, it affects the frequency of that space to that channeled energy or frequency. For instance, a space that more peace is desired. The meta art that is channeled peace can be hung in that room or that building or that courtyard and the energy of peace will permeate that space affecting everyone and everything and bringing it more in line to a frequency that is peace. So simply by these paintings being held in an area, whether it's inside or outside, everyone that interacts with them is affected in a positive way from the frequency that they're giving off. Again, whether it's peace or joy or love or fully realized self, whatever it is that the artwork aligns with the individual and gently caresses their frequency to align more and more with that love or that joy or that peace. So next we'll talk about how utilizing this meta art in the form of meditation serves an even greater, deeper purpose. It's what I call ocular meditation. Simply by settling in and getting comfortable and having the artwork as large as possible, whether you're looking at the original piece of canvas or looking at a reproduction of it. Just getting that as large as you can in front of you, whether it's on your computer desktop or your television, and enjoying an open eye meditation or ocular meditation. Picking a focal point in the middle of the artwork, wherever your eye is drawn, whatever um, area of the painting that you feel called to set your gaze and simply focusing on that area and then relaxing your gaze and breathing in and out that which the artwork is painted to channel. So in this experience we are going to enjoy fully realized self. This artwork channels the frequency of you fully realized, fully evolved, fully awake. So simply sit back and relax. Pick that point of reference and relax your gaze and the artwork will morph and change. It may spin, it may go to white, it may go three-dimensional. Each time you meditate on this art will be a different new experience as it slowly alters your frequency more to fully realized self. So for the next 10 minutes, we will enjoy this open eye meditation.